Yes, last year, Brian here, and today we're going to show you how to beat Bayern Munich in the M26 of the Master Campaign. So, Bayern Munich at 100 overall, and you start 2 0 down 15 minutes into the game. So, you've got 75 minutes to score three goals, and well, as long as you don't concede, you've got three goals. If you concede, then you're going to have to score more than three goals. Uh, but obviously, there's these, then PSG, then Benfica, then United. We had the Juventus video out yesterday. Still the same team, this 4 2 4 variation, confounding 4 2 4 has players in the right, better spaces than 4-3-3 because you want to be scoring diagonal cross long shots uh, from the edges of the box and whatnot. Not central. Central is okay, but if you're going central, you've got two centre-backs coming at you. Um, so if you're out to the side, there's only, only one centre-back that you need to bother with, which I find is better because you've got Ronaldo on the left, Jacob Valley on the right, and they've both got very capable shots. Then you've got the wingers for extra support to pass around. Because like I say, same tips as before in terms of attacking. You don't want to be sprinting. When you're attacking, don't sprint. Because if you sprint, you're not going to keep the ball to your feet as well. If you're jostling, walking, as long as you're not making terrible passes like that, um, you're going to be getting the players and you're going to be creating space. So you've got is going to pass it to Carvalho. Carvalho's going to pop a shot and we're going to score like that. Um, so early goals are always key. You want to get the goals as soon as possible because then you... Well, obviously, that that's a silly comment. It goes without saying you want to score as soon as possible. But obviously, for timing-wise, no, you need to score three goals and not concede. But you can concede, just then need to score. Um, obviously, if the options open up like this, sometimes you want to think... If you're in head-to-head -head mode, you score, you go this through, and you're probably going to work. Probably, I should have got a free kick there, but I got advantage. It didn't look like advantage to me. I've been rolled for the free kick from that, as far as I'm aware. I don't know if it's just me. It's a tin four and a half fairy. But I feel like the refs always reluctant to give you free kicks. And it's the very light to give you. Like, I've gave away free kicks when I've had the ball. Like, how is that possible? I've been fouled. And, well, it felt like that. But maybe I've shoved him and the rest too lenient to them. But it's just about finding that space. Don't sprint. Because if you sprint, the ball's not going to be close to your feet. And it's going to be harder to react to a pass quickly. Obviously, likewise for defending, you can sprint as much as you want. I encourage to hold down that sprint and tackle bucket button. You want to basically auto-defend and have that second defender pressure on. Just closing them down, switching to make sure you've got a player coming from both sides, essentially. So you're going to, like, scissor them, pincer them in, crunch them in the middle with that auto-tackle to win the ball back. And then look for that rebound. Pop a shot off when it comes. Noise, a very tricky customer to beat. And by that, I mean he's a very good goalkeeper. And when he's boosted... You know, corners, pass to the man at the side and shoot. Um, mate, sometimes it may be better from that first pass to then pass to someone else in the box. If they're not there, you can normally create a bit of space. Um, Throw-ins, likewise, you just want to get it and you want to shoot. But like I say, noise there. But if you, I got a bit lucky there. Goncalves was there to sweep up on the rebound. And we were two all at extra time. Munich took me three, four goes. I, I beat Munich on my fourth go. So it didn't take me as long as uh, Juve did. Because Juve took me a lot. Um, I think the replay camera angles could do with being focused a bit more. Because it didn't even show you the head of the camera. Could have moved there to show what was going on. But no. Um, but no, yeah. Because you only need to score three goals, not four. So it is a little bit easier in that regard. But they are harder to beat. Hummels and Boateng were tough cookies in the centre of the defence. Like I say, having two strikers there meant that you could try and most of the time not have to deal with both of them. We got very, very lucky with this tackle. I just tried to foul them and think, all right, I just don't want them shooting. But we missed the foul and then it ended up falling in our favour. And then it was time to rebuild. Like You can sprint if you're out on the side and the space there, but try... To only use sprint if you think the option's there. But you're just looking for these passes. Having Martinez holding that rock in between them was difficult. But you just have to soldier on. You win the ball back. You need to win the ball back ASAP. Get onto them. Just get onto them. Double double player pressure. Sprint. Make sure you've got them. And then you look for the passes. And you need to hope that the pass is going to do the pass that you want it to do. Um, and your player's going to react. But that's just part of the engine which um, needs improving. But yeah, you just look for these spaces, try not to rush anything, and then pop a shot when you get the chance. Here, we got lucky and ended up getting a corner. Um, their defender should have really had enough time to clear it then. But once again, you look for this option on the edge, um, and then you pop that shot across the pitch, and there you go. Simple as that. 
It's how you take corners in in head to head Korea. I find, or in head to head, obviously a human's going to be on you and alert and know what you're going to do. But in campaign, you've got that more time to hold off and pop that shot. So we scored the three goals, but there's still 20 minutes on the clock, and we needed to defend and maybe try and score again just to relieve the pressure a bit. But the main focus was to defend, and that was a poor shot. I panicked there. I was like can I win a corner to waste some time? And he hit it so slowly that it just floated. And now it was just defend City for 15 more minutes. And the lads put in the hell of a shift. They want to be proud of themselves here. Uh, keeping up the pitch as much as we could. Uh, looking for options, looking for space. Didn't I wanted to go to the player on the left. And the game decided that I was passing to someone who clearly I wasn't passing to because they were heavily marked and not the person running into space. But hey, we got the ball back. Jao Cancelo, not Cancelo, that's the Juventus right back. Jao Carvalho, Forrest's very own. Uh, and then I was worried here. But Derek was pretty fast. I was like, get on him, get on him. Close the option, get on him, find him if you need to. Just do something, stop the shot. And they missed. And I was thinking, I have just been let out of jail for free there because that in other situations probably would have gone in. But it didn't. We've done it. 3-2. Munich defeated. Three more matches to go. I'll keep the progress coming for you guys as I do this because I think you should be finding it helpful. Let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. Wait, we've got to show you our rewards. I'm rushing because I've spoiled it. They weren't very good. But I'll show you the rewards from it anyway. Uh, obviously, more league points, campaign points, XP, coins, 70, 70, 72, 72. And a 77 Solomon Kalu. That rhymes. Yeah, but that's what we've got. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. Come follow me on Twitter at JBLNHD. I'll keep you updated as I'm doing these. Probably record them all. And I'll see you all later. Peace.